Hey, what's up guys? MGZ here today and I'm going to show you how to use your iPhone as a wireless mic pack. So the first thing you are going to need is, of course, an iPhone. The second piece of equipment you're going to need is a uh, mic and headphone audio jack to TSSR. And, of course, the last and final piece of equipment you need is a wired lapel. So, taking a closer look at the mic converter, as you can see here, it's from Radio Shack. The red input is for the mic in, and the green is to actually be able to monitor while you're recording. And as you can see here on the jack, it has the three sleeves that Apple's devices support for mic in. Now, looking at the lapel, you don't absolutely have to get this brand or this kind. I just chose this because it was the cheapest. It's about $19, $20. And as you can see here on the jack, it only has two sleeves, which Apple's devices do not support directly into the phone, which is why you need the converter in the first place. Now, the next thing you will need is an audio recording app. And I chose Audio Memos, the free version, because it does everything I need, including allow you to transfer the file to your computer over Wi-Fi. And here's what the app looks like when you first launch it. You have a big bright red record button down at the bottom. You can't miss it. Uh, but before you start recording, I suggest you go into the settings app and change a couple of things. First of all, you want to make sure amplification is all the way down and auto normalizes off. Next, turn the quality slider all the way up and enable the file server. The rest of these options are optional and are up to you. If you would like a password, you can choose to use one. So as described before, here you take your lapel and you have your audio converter and you just plug it right into the red port. Then you take your phone and the audio converter and you just plug it directly into the headphone jack of your Apple device. Now here I'm showing you with it plugged in. You could see that I'm tapping on the table and there's not much noise. But here I bring the mic in view, and when I tap on the mic, you can see the audio is popping from the mic. But then when I hit record without the mic plugged in, and I tap on the bottom, you can see that the audio levels are going up. Now, here I am sh giving you a short demonstration with the mic plugged directly in. You can see that the audio levels are still moving, and I bring the mic into view, and I tap on the mic, and it's not moving. And that's because Apple does not support mics connected directly to the iPhone. And here's how you would transfer your audio. You would hit the little I in the corner and then it will show an IP address. You want to go to your web browser and enter this in which I will show you in the next clip. Here I am in Firefox. You just go up to your address bar, type in the IP address that was shown on your device. Everybody's IP address will be different. And here's where you can download it. You can either click on this arrow pointing down and it will pop up with a save link. You want to save it to anywhere on your computer that you can remember. Or you can go over to the title, right click, and hit save link as and download it to the computer just the same. And that's all you need to turn your iPhone into a wireless mic pack. If you like this tutorial, feel free to hit the like button down low. And if you want to stay up to date on the videos that I make, including more tutorials like this one, feel free to hit the subscribe button too. But as always, I'm MGZ and I will see you in the next video. Peace.